This is Mary Lee with the first of the Lenten Children's Conversations for our youth at Colonial Church. Um, we want to talk today about breathing and how breathing can be a healing act. Before anything else, I would like you to inhale and exhale. True breathing, in when we inhale, we take in oxygen, which our bodies need. But when we breathe, something else happens. In the Bible, we hear these words from Job. The Spirit of God has made me, and the breath of the Almighty gives me faith. So when we breathe, we breathe in the Spirit breath. It's the breath of God Almighty into our lungs. Our bodies need oxygen, and our souls need the breath of God working to heal us from the inside of our bodies to the outside. Let's talk a little bit more about experiencing God's love in the world as an act of healing. The first thing I'm going to want you to do is to get a piece of paper. okay? And on this piece of paper, I want you to think about things that have hurt you in this past year, especially during COVID and the pandemic. All the things that you might have lost out on. I'm going to go ahead and take a few minutes to draw my things while you go ahead. And if you have crayons, I'm going to use some markers here. And I'm going to go ahead and do some, some quick drawings of um, things that have hurt me. Let's take a look at my picture. Here are some things that I miss from COVID. One is being with my friends. Gosh, I miss doing things with my girlfriends. Um, another big thing, traveling. You know, my husband just retired and we really thought that during this time we would get to vacation and see different parts of the country and the world that we haven't seen yet. But we haven't been on a plane in over a year. And one of the biggest things has been a broken heart for me personally in this past year. Um, Something that happened was a divorce within my family that has caused me not to be able to see two small people that I love very much. What I want you to do right now, I'm frustrated because of these things. I'm frustrated I haven't been able to see friends or travel or see two little people. I want you to fall that up, fall it up, throw it down. Just get rid of it. Now let's pick it back up. Do you really think that's what God would do with us? That he would just decide that things weren't fair and just push us aside? Let's try, let's try to smooth it out. Let's try to smooth it out. Now, it's still, the things are still there, but they're they're kind of bumpy. And you know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to rip that thing in half. See how I tore it in half? Oh, gosh. Let me see here. What can I do? I want to take my two sheets after I've torn them. And I want to see if I can tape them back together. So i got my trusty little tape. Um, I don't know, I guess you could try some glue if you wanted to. I'm going to tape this back together as best I can. Well, I taped it back together. It's still kind of a mess. It's still not as nice as I would like it to look. Um, I guess I can't erase what happened during COVID or the pandemic or why we're stuck like this. But you know what? There's something we can do. We can do something during this time. We can turn the page. Oops, mine is kind of bled through there. We can turn the page and we can have a fresh page to look at, an empty page. When we turn it, it doesn't mean that these things never happen to us. They still happen. But it's not perfect, but it doesn't have to be perfect. It's a new start for us. It's a chance that we need to take to have and create something meaningful and maybe even beautiful. So now I'm going to ask you to get back out your crayons or your markers and to go ahead and draw something that's very uplifting to you that's going to make you feel better. Okay, here I am on my other side of my page. Things have gotten better, starting to be able to see my friends again. Springtime's around the corner. Flowers are blooming. God 
doesn't just throw us away. The power of God and his love transforms us. You took that torn and wadded up piece of paper with all of your hurts on it and you transformed it into something beautiful. That doesn't mean that the hurts were any less real or any easier to overcome, but it does mean that you have inside you what God placed there from the very beginning, the ability to heal. So let's say a prayer now. Loving God who came to you with hearts, with hands, with minds, and souls in need of your healing touch. Heal us from the inside out. Breathe in, breathe out, so that we may reach out to help heal your world. Amen.